Think prevention, live long. So you had the nuclear stress test and we are here for the results. Let me explain you how the nuclear stress test work here. When you came in, we took the picture of the heart while you were resting. And then we put your heart under stress, many times in the form of walking on the treadmill, but at times when a person cannot walk in the form of either giving you a chemical uh, where it speeds up your heart or giving you another, another type of chemical which essentially makes the heart blockage more intense. So we took two sets of pictures when you came, as you remember. First we took the pictures at rest, and then we took pictures at the stress. And as you can see, the heart muscle is cut in a kind of a bread loaf way or a cutting a donut type thing. So here's the, I call a donut hole for the heart muscle. And you can see the color in this particular person. The color is very uniformly distributed. And this is when the person was having stress on the heart. And the second set of pictures right below it is when we took the pictures on that person and the person was resting. And you could clearly see that the color or the intensity in this particular person's case is more when the person was stressed and less when the person was resting. That means heart was able to get more blood necessary while the person is stressed compared to the rest. And that's a very normal finding. Now, if you had a person with a heart blockage, part of this donut here, part of this donut will be out because that area of the heart is not getting enough blood. And I'll explain you all these details and draw it for you when I sit down with you in person. But essentially, these other nuclear results, relatively simple, and I'll show you how the heart function is measured also. So here's your, here's your heart where we take essentially the picture of the heart while it's contracting and looking at it and also by the computer we get a number we call ejection fraction, ejection fraction which essentially is the amount of blood entering the heart and the amount of blood leaving the heart, the ratio of the blood leaving the heart and blood entering the heart. And the normal ratio, the normal ejection fraction, is between 50 and 70 percent. In this person's case, they happen to be around 70, 75 percent, which is very normal. So I will explain you what your ejection fraction is. And let me tell you one of the most critical thing. If one number, if one number, I want you to remember before you leave my office, and that's ejection fraction. So make sure you know your ejection fraction. Thank you. We think prevention live long, the heart of mid-Michigan strong.